In this video, I wanted to show how we can connect optics to a Siemens S7 uh, 1500 PLC. In this case, I'm going to use the uh, TIA portal, S, uh, the S7 1500, and then use the, uh, the S7 PLC Sim Advanced simulator to, uh, to allow me to download some logic and connect uh, optics to to do some testing. So basically to kind of make this work, I, I do have my uh, PLC simulator, S7 simulator up. Uh, I've got a CPU created with, an, with kind of the default IP address going here and I got that, uh, that system running. And then real simple logic, of course, here just for demonstration, uh, a simple start stop circuit. And then I also have a couple of tags um, that are going to be attached to a slider where I can watch them um, kind of watch them um, update as I move it in optics. So I'm going to go, go online with my um, Siemens TIA portal and uh, we go back to my logic here and we'll go into monitor mode. Make this maybe bigger. We'll go back to the tags and we'll monitor there too. So we can see our tags changing. Now go to optics. So kind of have a uh, kind of the basic project going here, the default project. Um, first I want to show that uh, anytime you need help inside of op optics, you can just hit this question mark and that'll bring up the help file. And just to show you some information on the drivers, we we'll click on creating projects here. We can go to communication drivers, drivers overview, and then we've got the Yes7 TCP driver and the TIA Profinet driver. So there are two Siemens drivers. So the uh, the Yes7 TCP driver will support the 1200, 1500, the 300, and the 400 series whereas the Profinet driver will support the 1200 and the 1500. So I'm going to go with the configure, configure Communications. I'm going to say New Station. I'm going to go ahead with the TIA Profinet Station. Hit Next. I'll type in the IP address of our simulator. Leave the port at 102. I can rename this as again, this is just the name for the CPU itself. I can just type in PLC SIM and hit next. So like we saw in some previous videos for the, for the, um, you know, for the control logics, when we're doing our control logics and in logic set go, you know, we have the ability here to do offline tag imports, or we can do online because this, this does support online tag imports. So when I switch to online, we see that it pretty much instantly populated all the tags that are currently in that controller. So again, if I were to come back to my TIA portal, start, stop, running, slider one, slider two, go back to optics, and it found all those. So I can click this box, hit next, and that will import the tags. So back over here in our project view, we see comm drivers, S7 TIA, Profinet, we can kind of expand this out and we'll see that all my tags have imported. So I'm just going to go up to the UI for user interface. I'm going to go to main window and I'm just going to drop a few things on here real quick just to kind of show, um, just, you know, just to kind of prove out that this actually works with the simulator. So I'm going to uh, right click, I'm going to say new base controls. I'll start with an LED just to kind of show that the that the pump virtual pump there is actually running. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, we'll go ahead and add a um, base controls. We'll add a switch to kind of start and stop. And I will also add a base control and a linear gauge. Now I'm going to do a copy paste once I kind of set these up just to save a few minutes. Uh, but we'll come to our LED first. Uh, we want it to be active. So to make it active, we can uh, 
We can change this dynamic link. Click on this. We can scroll down until we get to our com drivers. Go to tags, PLC table. And we're going to show this as running. That way that LED will light up when we're running. Um, for our for our slider switch here, we're going to go to uh, checked. We're going to for under switch here. We're going to choose. Oops. Uh, we're going to choose the dynamic property, and we're going to come down com drivers again. Tags PLC table. So I'm going to do start. I'm going to right click this, say copy, paste. This time makes it a little bit quicker. It brings it right to uh, the tag there. And I can say stop. One more thing to do is I'm going to set up these two sliders. I'll create one here first and copy it. And basically, I have a, um, the slider graph. We're just going to come to value. We're going to tie the dynamic link to the tag. In this case, I want to tie it to slider one tag, which is an integer value tag. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste. Try that again, copy, paste. And update the dynamic link to be slider two. So I built a real quick screen in just a matter of a few minutes. I'll go ahead and save this. Um, and I will start my emulator, which will basically be uh, the optics uh, screen running that I can actually test it. I'm going to minimize my optics studio. And then first I want to show the slider one, slider two. So again, I have my my two tags here, slider one, slider two, inside my uh, S7 1500 PLC. So if I take slider one and change it, we see that the value is updating. And if I take slider two and change it, we see that the value is updating. Now we'll come back to our, our main OB1. And if I bring my uh, if I bring my uh, optics window here, I'm going to turn it on. So there it was. It turned on the bit, turned on the running bit that, that turned the uh, LED on. Since this is a, uh, a toggle slider, I have to go ahead and turn it back off to bring it back to zero. And then I'm going to go ahead and toggle on uh, the stop, which was tied to this one here. So when I did that, that dropped out the stop bit, uh, the running uh, coil and LED dropped out. So real quick, real simple, just a matter of a few clicks and a few minutes, and I was able to kind of connect optics to my Siemens S7-1500 simulator.